It's Tony here from We Try Anything, the channel that likes to try anything so you don't have to. What we're having a look at today is we're going to have a quick look at a product that I've had my eye on for a few months to say the least. I've, to be honest, I've been waiting for it to go down in price, but it hasn't. So I just thought, well, I'll take the plunge and uh, just go and get it and obviously build it and then give it a quick review and see what I think. Um, the, what I'm looking at today is a gaming chair for the office. Now, what we've got today, what, so what I what I normally sit on is something you probably can hear hear it creak in some of the older videos. Um, it's something I've had for years. The gas lift has gone on it, and um, the back it's it is actually starting to give me back pain now. So what I thought I'd try is something like a it, you know nothing nothing too expensive because even though I do sit it sit it most days. It is something that I, I mean, I could you could spend thousands on a Herman Miller or Herman whatever they're called, um, real professional chairs. But for me, it's just it's just something just to you know keep me comfortable during the day. So what I'm going to look at, I did consider this one, but I just wanted something a bit smaller to fit in the space that I normally sit at. So what I what I've decided to look at is the blue version of this, which I'm clicking on on Argos. Now, unfortunately, it is at a good price and. It is, um, when you read the reviews, it does get some really good reviews. There's the odd one or two where it says it's a bit, meh, you know, hit or miss. But generally, it does get some good reviews. And I've highlighted the price here at £65. I have seen it for 53 on Hot UK Deals, which I have done a review of. What we're going to do is we're, we're going to have a look at it today. I have purchased it, but I just thought I'd show you where I got it from. I mean, there are other makes of gaming chair and stuff like that and there's also other colors that they do here which is red uh you got black um yeah, bit of a bit of a 70s car gray which i'm not too sure of and you've got the white now as i said i've gone for blue um because it matches what i my kind of branding for another business that i run but i just i'm gonna go and build it and then give you my thoughts Right then, I just thought I'd show you in its boxed glory, as it were. Um, it's not a massive box. It doesn't come in a massive box from Argos. And, um, you know, if you, if you prefer to get it delivered, then, you know, the £4 that they charge for delivery might be worth it. It might save you the fuel and the time popping out to Argos to get it and pick it up. But we, I managed to fit this in my um, Golf, in the, in the, as it were, the boot of my Golf. Absolutely no problem. So um, I'm guessing it would probably fit like a small hatchback with, you know, if you put it across the seats, if you've got nothing in the way and stuff. So, you know, it, it's not massively big. I mean, you know, if I put my hand down, I've got the biggest of hands, but if I put it next to the box for a kind of reference, then you can see how big it is. But what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna open it and then um, we're gonna start putting it together. Right, so let's get this box open. I've got my trusty knife and please be careful when you are using knives, you know, obviously they can cut, um, but let's just get it, get it open. Hopefully not cutting anything on the inside, so just be aware of that. Uh, let's see if we can get it up. No, so it is protected from the top with uh, the bits and pieces. Right, let's have a quick look what's it, what you get inside this box in the Argos gaming chair. Uh, there's all the fixings. In instructions. Um, looks like the arms. See what else you get. Well, I'm guessing I feel like the casters. And these are the oh no, there's the casters, so just there. That looks like what would be the back. Well, it's got some quite some heft to it. And the base, just there. And obviously you've got the uh, the actual base part in which the casters fit on and the gas lift goes on top of. The mechanism there for the tilt. Sorry, the, the up and down motion of the, the um, as it were, of the chair. And then that's it. That's the whole box just emptied. Fine enough here. It's uh, quite interesting. Now. It's quite soft here. Yeah, so I'm quite impressed with that. I mean, obviously it's like a, a UPVC kind of, you know, like a faux faux leather as it were but it's quite soft and um yeah I'm quite impressed with it so far i mean obviously you got your back to it um but yeah 
and it is saying it's kind of resistant to kind of um, matches and fire, but you know, I'll, <laughs> it hopefully you will never be seeing that. But yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah. Yeah, I quite like it. There's no tears, there's no nothing I can see. Yeah, I like the look of that. Now, I'm doing the, the base part of it. Again, it's, it's obviously not as, the foam's a bit more sturdier than what it is on the other one, a bit more thicker. Um, but, you know, you've got the, what looks like your fixings there for the arms there. Um, I'll just take a, and then you've got all the base stuff going on here. And then obviously the carelessness this causes fire message warning do not remove this tag and yeah I'm quite you know it feels quite it feels feels I've got to admit it feels quite nice uh, looking at it but I mean obviously the proof will be in the pudding once it's built I mean you know it's 65 quid it's not gonna in terms of gaming chairs it's not the best but you know I'm gonna just see how it goes and then uh, see how it puts together uh, sorry comes together and then what it feels like I right, just quickly open this box and I got it wrong being the casters because obviously the casters are over there. But what it is, is um, a gas struct, uh, the gas lift as you were, me uh, mechanism with the actual um, two plastic parts that covers the mechanism and probably protects it as well. What, what the first thing you've got to do within this, um, uh, with, for the chair, is you've just got to put the casters on and you know, forgive my uh, luminous trainers, um, you just put the casters on like such and um, they go on very easily. To say the least, yeah, there you go. It's very easily done, and um, obviously, with the weight of sitting on it as well, we'll kind of bed them in better, um, from what I'm understanding. But this is the first thing you do as per the instructions, and yeah, that goes on like that. And then let me just move the base out of the way, and then you pop that on there. So, what you do is you just pop that on there as such, as per what the instructions have said. And then what I found, um, I got it wrong originally, you, you get that piece and you put that piece within the base of this piece. So it goes like such. So it'll fit like that. And there you go. There's your, your gas lift ready to go. So looking at the instructions, the next part of the puzzle is that you just get this, unpack this from the packaging that was there. And you just make sure that that's at the front or pointing, you know, you, you base it on the instructions and then you pop this over the holes here and then you start screwing in the actual um, screws as it were, just to get this part of the seat ready to for its operation. What I do like about this, um, the instructions as it were as well, is obviously they refer to um, the actual fixings and the way they refer to them is, is with the um, alphabetical letters for each of the parts. So for example here, um, on these, uh, as it were, screw, screws as it were, that I've got to go here in here, or the bolts as it were, um, it refers to D. And what I like about that idea is, is that it just, you're not guessing what's going to go in where, it is actually kind of specific to the holes. And the actual screws seem to have like a bit of thread tape on them as well, just to kind of help them, keep them in place. So, you know, I do like that feature of um, the instructions and the parts that you get with it. Right then, the next thing to place on here is the actual back element of the chair. Now I've got, I've got it supporting on my usual chair uh, just to help me out because I'm doing it on my own. But what I would say as a pro tip would be, um, I did tighten these originally and I had a right game trying to get this in. So what I've had to do is undo them all and then obviously um, put all these in loose and just tighten them up as I go along. But what I would say is just as a pro tip, make sure you just put it in loose and then you can fit this in no problem. Right, eventually got it done, but um, it, it is a one man job and you can easily uh, get these in there on the base. Um, but what again I would say is, as I've said before, I would make sure these two are as loose as each other. Put these in first and then you can fix these two in because it, it did, I did end up having to undo these two just to get that one back in. Sorry undoing that one just to get these tightened up and that one in there but I mean again as I say it would probably be obvious once you start building it but um, it was a bit of a mission but these two not a problem I've got to say it's you know sturdily in as it were so yeah cool and they've all got washers as well just to protect where they go but yeah good right the next part is the actual arms of the chair that I'm going to fix um, from looking at the instructions it's pretty self-explanatory and you do get you know, it does refer to the actual bolts there, which are long enough. 
and they just go into the holes here as you can see that one and that one and with the, the actual arms as well you do get a little bit of padding just so you don't get your arm caught on the uh, desk sorry or the actual chair right they went in okay um that did meet that did come down a little bit there so you have to kind of push over with the screw in just so it then gets a purchase on the actual screw part but yeah that went in no problem and you do get these natty little caps as it were let's pop them let's get them out let's pop over it once you're happy that the uh, seat arm as it were is tight enough and you just pop it over there just to finish sorry just to finish the actual look and i gotta say you know it is nice and it is going together very well right after a bit of messing around and especially i had to use a a bike as it were a bike and multi tool just to just to finish off the arms here because what would ha what had happened was the actual m6 uh, hex key that you got started to round off but once i got a, a multi-tool on the on the case absolutely no problem and especially for one person to put it together um it works really well and i gotta say arms are sturdy that's sturdy you know it's it's a nice fit and i've just sat on it and it does feel really I do, I do like the support it's given me actually um and the last component was you just had to place that on top of the actual gas lift mechanism and that was it and i gotta say I'm, I'm impressed i do like it and especially for the 65 quid and it's not it's not a massive chair by any means right i put it on my desk and as you can see it, it's a it's a marked difference on the other one i mean yeah you can see some bikes in the background of where i work and what i do especially for the we try anything brand um but the old chair, which is now being pensioned off, it's not going to go into a landfill. It will go off to somewhere else who can use it, uh, which is, you know, I'd rather these sort of things. I mean, all it needs is a new gas lift down the bottom. That's the only thing that's broken with it. But for me, I wanted something with the, a few, arm, you know, with the arms and stuff and just something that's just a, a bit more newer. And I've got to say, it does fit really well. There is a slight amount of tilt to it when you lean back, very slight. Um, but just quickly sitting on it and using it, um, as I have been for the past half an hour, I gotta say it's such a it's such a revelation. You know, well, revelation is probably a strong word for it, but it's such a you know such a great chair. And there's a gas lift element there. I am I haven't fully gone over what it can do. Um, I've just sat at it and tried it, but I've got to say initial impressions. You know, I'd give it eight to nine out of ten. Um, what I will do is I'll do an update after a month's worth of use, uh, to see if it's any good give you a full approve uh, sorry full review of it as it were and then uh, you know so you can see what you think and if it's worth you know looking at yourself but yeah initial impressions I'm very impressed um you know nothing compared to something that's two three times the amount but you know it's, it is a good chair um the only thing I would say is it does feel a little the, while the leather isn't you know the effect the leather effect is quite soft. It, I got a little bit scared. I thought I was going to rip it, but it seemed to be okay. But again, after a month's use, let's see how it uh, fares up. Well, thank you for watching. Um, it was just a little put together, boxing, unboxing, and um, just quickly show you what the chair looks like in its habitat, as it were, or its new habitat. Um, but I will be giving a review soon, and you know, hopefully, see what you think. But as I say, thank you for watching. Um, you know, please subscribe, please. Click that old like button and um, look out for any kind of reviews coming up soon. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.